We start today with some extraordinarily sad audio that has been released of a conversation with Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein. This is a really tough story to do because this is not an ageist program in principle, and this is not about ageism. This is about competency. And it appears as though Senator Dianne Feinstein back from three months out of the Senate due to health issues has no memory of having been gone for the last three months. Calls for her to resign are surging again. And we have to be able to, you know, on the one hand, we have empathy for Dianne Feinstein and her family and as people, of course. And we also recognize that it is not clear Dianne Feinstein is currently fit to serve in the United States Senate. Now, for those of you who will write in and say, David, Trump wasn't fit to serve and he was president for four years. That's not really what this is about. So we're going to play some audio. There were reports of this conversation. We now have the audio. Senator Dianne Feinstein back from an absence of several months while battling shingles is interviewed by Benjamin Oreskes of the Los Angeles Times. And she appears to have no memory whatsoever of having been away for those three months. Uh, How are you feeling since you've oh, returned? I'm feeling fine. Yeah. I have a problem with the leg. The leg? Yeah. What's wrong with it? Well, not, nothing. Nothing? It's anyone's concern. Okay. But mine. Um, what has the response from your colleagues been like? What are the well wishes? What have you heard? What have I heard about what? About your return. How have they felt about your no, return? No, I haven't been gone. Okay. Um, you should follow me. I haven't been gone. I've been working. You've been working from home is what you're saying? No, I've been here. Um, I've been voting. Please, yeah. either know or don't know. Um, what do you say to uh, Californians like Ro who say you should resign? So um, at that point, Feinstein um, uh, whisked away. Um, Democratic Congressman Ro Khanna again repeats his call for Dianne Feinstein to resign after this incident. Uh, SFGate.com reporting Ro Khanna was the first member of Congress to call for Feinstein's resignation, and he is echoing that call a day after uh, reporters had this encounter where she appeared to not remember that she had been absent for three months. Uh, this is a really tough situation and it's it's getting ugly and there really aren't great options. And the best option that many are talking about is that it is Feinstein's family who should convince her to resign. Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, would get to select a replacement. Um, and I don't remember based on it's in California, whether there is or isn't a special election depends on the number of days until the next election. I believe because it's more than six months until the 2024 election, there would be a special election, I think, although I may be wrong. We'll double check that. But if it is not the options, according to the U.S. Constitution for removing a senator from office are expulsion or resignation and expulsion would be a formal vote with two thirds of the members of the Senate present and voting uh, in favor of uh, of removal. Resignation is, of course, voluntary. It doesn't require a vote. It's just up to the senator and there is no provision for a recall. This is a really sad and tough situation. And as I've said before, Dianne Feinstein has an incredibly storied career in the Senate. She is the longest serving Democratic member of the Senate right now. And I believe the oldest by by a few months older than Chuck Grassley. She'll be 90 uh, in a few weeks. And <laughs> This has been going on for years is the truth. OK, and at some, some point you have to just say this is what it is. Um, Diane Feinstein reportedly regularly doesn't remember meeting people that she sees regularly and works with regularly. There are all of these examples of Diane Feinstein at Senate hearings where she will read a question off of a piece of paper. It's not super clear if she totally gets the question, but after the witness answers, she asks the exact same question a second time. This isn't serving anyone. This isn't serving democracy. This isn't serving the Democratic Party, who's had judicial uh, uh, nominations from Joe Biden held up because of Feinstein's absence. She's on the Judiciary Committee. 
So at the end of the day, I don't know what the mechanism is here, but we have to be able to look at a situation and assess it for what it is. Now, people have been writing to me saying, David, there should be an upper limit on age for senators or an upper limit on the number of years you're allowed to serve or whatever. Listen, maybe maybe those things can all be explored where we are right now is that this is the situation and growing calls for Feinstein to resign. The audio is troubling and it's sad and it's where we are right now. One of our sponsors today is Wild Health, founded by two emergency room physicians. Wild Health takes your genetics and your biometrics and your lifestyle data to really tailor suggestions to your exact needs in terms of nutrition and exercise and sleep and supplements and all of those things. And the whole idea is just for you to function at your best. It's really a quite it's a simple goal, but it's a complex goal to achieve. You might have a specific health goal. You want to sleep better. You want to lose weight. You want to stay healthy and just feel good. Wild Health will tailor a care plan with lifestyle interventions instead of medications, which I prefer as an approach. Wild Health will pair you with a care team that includes a board certified precision medicine physician and accredited health coach who can uh, receive messages from you anytime through the app. It's fully virtual telemedicine. And if you're really trying to reach your top physical and mental condition, Try Wild Health's premium program at wildhealth.com slash premium, which includes the white glove concierge service, unlimited visits, even higher touch care. These results are really compelling. Patients have seen improvements to diabetic markers, reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, reduction in inflammation and more. Go to wildhealth.com slash Pacman and use the code Pacman for 20 percent off. The link is down below.